So earlier in the week, I said that there's a high chance I wouldn't be at this game. It turns out, Dad's invited me, and I'm here. Look, last week against the Bulldogs, Dad. Really frustrating performance. Will Penasini, the lone try scorer in a 30-point defeat. Back at home, how can we win it tonight? Uh, we can play a lot better than we did last week to start us. Last week we should, yes. Um, <laughs> Who are you going to go first try? Uh, first try, I'm going to get the, the Roosters. Oh, the first try. Um, Billy Smith. Billy Smith, yep, yep. Uh, in the centres. And, yeah. and any time for the Eels? Any time on. Penasini is always a good bet. So. Two centres there, good choice. So what's the score going to be? Surely Parra win. Oh, Parra win. I'm going to say it's going to be like a 16-12. If the Roosters win, it's going to be like 32-10. Wow, I've actually got Parramatta winning 32-10. Earlier in the week, I had 16-20. to 20, But I think with Kiri being out, it's a huge factor. I'm taking Mitchell Moses to respond. He had... A shocker last week. He tried his best, but some big moments leading to some errors. So I'm going to take him first try scorer and Manu anytime, but back at home. So we got Pa here as well. Pa's a Roosters supporter. It's his birthday. Now the Roosters. A tough game against the Storm last week. They almost got the job done, but Tupanua spilled his lollies. An away game against the Eels. We've been pretty good for the most part. Inconsistent, but pretty good. Can the Roosters get the job done tonight? They certainly can. And it'll be, uh, well, it'll be a 16 to 6 win. 16 to 6, and who's going to be scored first? First will be Tupo. Tupo, wanting to get that origin jersey. Back. I do, Nick, if you can. Conversion, 
Moses from the sideline, it's a big kick. He's gonna kick it, you reckon? I can miss it. Raise away, 16-6. Back in slide, too many offloads, but I'll tell you what, they're working. Madison, Madison. Justice, sir. Look at the puck. 
They played good, they played good, but obviously they can't beat the best team in the can't comp. Can't beat the best team yeah. in the comp. Are the Bulldogs going to win tomorrow? We're going to win the comp and tomorrow. 66 nil? Yep. <laughs> We're with Norman from Sports Shed TV. I tell you, mate, that was a great game. You kept Parramatta scoreless in the second half. Is it all up from the Roosters from here? Yeah, it's all up from here. Bradley, back, Jared Mack, we'll get there in the end. Um, obviously, Kiri out too. Two men bench today, but credit to Power, they play good. Do you reckon Paulo man of the match? Yeah, Paulo for sure. You reckon? He had a good player. game, but I'll tell you what, there are other players that stood up for me. Yeah, there were other players that stood up. I'll see if it was incredible. Yep. I think young Sawali is just an absolute beast. Oh, mate, he should be on that just... New South Wales wing, I think. Yeah, I, I know. Think it's like pushing that jersey. Age doesn't matter anymore when you play like that, so... Regan Campbell Gillard for Sports Shed TV, you love to see it. I'm here with King Gutho, big win. Do you think Parra have what it takes to win the conference here? Uh, yeah, mate, obviously when we play the game we want to, um, we can beat anyone on our day, but it's just doing it consistently. Yeah. What impressed you the most tonight about Parra Gutho? Obviously, not the result last week, but a huge result against the top team as well. Yeah, it's just consistency, mate. Uh, we just got to be able to do it every week. And that's probably our problem at the moment, but we have the belief and uh, moving into the back end of the year, we just got to keep winning. Yeah, congratulations. Last, last question, sorry. If you're stuck on a deserted island, who's one player out of the whole team you would not want to be stuck with and why? Um, probably all of them. All uh, of them? <laughs> no, uh, they're all pretty good actually, say any of them, but uh, probably Reggie, he just complains a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for your time. Uh, all right, so we've got Junior Paul, a huge performance against the Roosters, the top side tonight. Mate, man of the match, congratulations. How'd that one feel? Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, after the back of last week's performance, we just needed to bounce back and um, get back in the groove of things. And I thought we'd done that well. So, um, you know, we've got to be able to find consistency and, um, you know, we just need to start it now. Enjoy the week off, mate. You've deserved it. <laughs> no, cheers. Thank you, bro. So full time at Bankwest Stadium, Combank, whatever you want to call it. And the Parramatta Eels prevail over the Sydney Roosters, 26 points to 16. What a return for Mike Acevo. The Roosters, I've pointed at him all night. This bastard's copped it, but I'll tell you what, a good performance defensively from the Roosters in the second half. I was very impressed with their defense. They just couldn't get over the line in their attack. In my opinion, Junior Paulo, uh, Sean Lane and Sevo all fighting it out for man of the match. Mitchell Moses had a great first half and I want to see that consistency. Great to have a chat with some of the boys afterwards. A good victory. What can you take out of this one, Mitchell, for the Roosters? Uh, you know. Missing Jared. Missing Jared. Missing Jared. He's hard in the middle. Missing so Victor just, too. Yeah, actually that's a good point too. I think he's not out there. I'm also just trying to get close here because the camera angle is making you look not that much shorter than me. So there I'm you go. Over, yeah. Love it. Well, guys, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. The next video I'll be doing will probably be Eels and Tigers. That game will be at Leichhardt. And the next game after that will be 
the State of Origin Game 3, Maroons, New South Wales from Suncorp Stadium, and that will be 150th vlog. So I'm really looking forward to that. Great to meet some of the content creators tonight, and I'll see you guys later.